Gearist.com. Thanks for joining us. Today, we're going to be talking to the Hampton runner, Eric. This is Eric. Today, Eric's going to be reviewing the Microsoft Band. We're here today in Hampton, Virginia at Fort Monroe, actually at the Battery de Russi, and we'll show you some pictures of that right now. Really amazing historic place to either visit and also a place to run. So if you've got a spare second, go ahead and Google Fort Monroe in Hampton, Virginia. So now I'm going to get out of the way and let him take it. Seems like everybody has an activity tracker now. Latest entrance to the game, as Brandon said, Microsoft. What? I've been an Apple fanatic actually for years and this is the first time in well this decade I can remember ever being excited about a Microsoft product but I waited completely checking every tracking message checking everything else until finally it came and here it is this is a really crazy device with a ton of electronics in it you can see right through the side here there's electronics you have more electronics through the back you have still more electronics here this causes it to be a little bit stiff, but Microsoft has tried to compensate for that with a rather unique enclosure. The enclosure clasps through the buckle here with this back plane. It's kind of a snap-in dot that sits off the uh, backside clasp here. And it can be released very easily by clipping the two sides. What's also unique about this, though, is when it's clasped, you can hear a clicking as you slide it and it tightens so you can adjust as you're wearing it. Now the design of this clasp really does help compensate for some of the heavy electronics. Sadly it doesn't completely overcome the fact and it has given the nickname to the device the Microsoft Shackle. It is a little bit stiff to wear and difficult to get comfortable at points. This is especially noticeable when you're wearing it at night trying to sleep you can't quite get the bending right and after three weeks of wearing the device I'm always aware that I have it on. One of the really exciting features of the Microsoft Band that sets it apart from a lot of earlier trackers but is coming into many more is the addition of optical heart rate monitoring. This will read off of your wrist what your heart rate is and Microsoft advertises as a 24 hours heart rate read. This is effective not only when you're resting, which is common through the industry, but also when you are exercising. It also has a built-in GPS, so you can go out, take it on a run, you have everything right here, don't have to grab the strap. Very exciting possibilities. On the other side of the band, you can see the plate where you hook up the charger. The charger is a magnetic plug, that sits on the device, but you do have to be careful. It's very easy to knock free. The charge for the device is eh, about 48 hours. That's what they advertise, and it is held up for that for me. There are two buttons on the band. The larger button will turn the band on. The second button is an action band. Currently on the main screen, you can see that I have the time and my heart rate going, and pressing the action band, I change off between steps, date, miles, things of that sort. Now to travel the interface, Microsoft through their Windows Mobile application system uses a system called Tiles and they bring the tiles over to the band. Now these you can see by swiping and there are many different options like what kind of text messages you've received, do you have any emails, phone calls, and all of these items will prompt you or interact with you in a different way. If you get an email, you'll get a notice. If you are doing a workout, you can get prompted, now it's time to do push-ups, now it's time to do sit-ups. There's a whole plethora of options in here, including tracking your sleep at night, which is a big deal for me. I don't seem to get enough of it. Each of these corresponds with an app on this smartphone, which you can see here. First off, notice this app is on an iPhone. Big win for Microsoft. The app works on iPhone, Android, and Windows Mobile. Each of these items on here are to the tiles, and you turn them on and off according to what you would like. Now there is a limitation of how many tiles you can have, and if you try to put on too many, as you can see, you'll be corrected. 
sorry, not today. Microsoft threw everything at this device. And as such, it's staggering the number of possibilities you have with it. Well, to focus things down, I'm a runner, so I'm just going to concentrate on the things that are really important to me and eh, try not to take three hours doing the review. As a runner, I'm concerned about my heart rate through the day, depending on my workouts, things like that, am I recovering well, just what, what is my stress level like, things like that. And you can see on the screen that it's currently saying 72, but I don't know if that is actually my heart rate at the time. I can tap the screen and swipe over and see that it is in fact now locked. Now it won't always be locked, it'll sometimes have to acquire, like it shows now, it's acquiring, and it'll usually acquire it in 10 to 30 seconds, somewhere in that range. Okay, the next thing I'd like to discuss is, well, the meat of the product. I want to go run, I have the device on me, no muss, no fuss, swipe over, here's the run. Now, I need to press the action button to say go, and it will search for a GPS. Now, it does give you the option, if you do not want to wait for the GPS, you can just hit the button and say, I want to go now. Otherwise, it will try to find the GPS. Now, the amount of time it takes to find the GPS depends on where you are, have you found it before, things like that. Right now, we're against a wall, and facing the south, guess what? It's going to be very difficult to find a GPS through a giant concrete wall facing the south. It did find the GPS. Once you do, you hit the action button, and you go. On the screen, you're going to see the calories you're burning at the time, your heart rate, and how much time has gone by. All right, right next to the running, you have the possibility to do workouts. Now, the workout is a very simplistic screen, and it's a simple action. All you do is open it, you hit the button, and it will record the time, heart rate, and approximate calories burned while you do the workout. The workout can be anything. I use it all the time on the elliptical. You can use it jump roping, lifting weights, 12 ounce curls on the couch. Make sure you check your heart rate after too many Guinness. Since the band is all about exercise, there's yet another way to do workouts. Microsoft has partnered with different organizations to create workouts for you where you will be prompted on what to do. This is controlled by the app, as you can see here. Now in the app, you can browse by brand of workout, and you can see Microsoft has partnered with different people, determining what it's going to be. So let's look at, let's say, Gold's Gym. And you can see um, right here you have a Suns Out, Guns Out workout. And within this, you can see what a description is of the workout. Then the details on what they want you to do as you go through. Each of these has a video that demonstrates the workout at hand. It's a really well produced piece. After all that working out and getting through your day, you need to track your sleep. That's very simple. You press the button and then press it and go to sleep. The Microsoft Band is an amazingly ambitious product. They literally came out of nowhere and they threw everything at you. And with that, it's exciting, there's so much room to grow, but there are some issues still. One of the main issues with the band I've run into is I'm always aware that I'm wearing it. it it's kind of stiff. They've got so many electronics in there that it's understandable, but I'm aware of it. I've been wearing it for three weeks. It never disappears. It's always present on my hand. And at night, it's also a problem for me because the heart rate monitor, as it's loose on my wrist so I can sleep better, this light will glow out across the whole room and I'm holding it against my side to try not to wake up my wife when I'm getting up to get around. Another issue I've run into is the heart rate sensor does not seem to be completely accurate. And it can be off by a fair margin, and that's a bit of a worry because I'm data very, well, I'm very data obsessive. This is a very early product, so I do think that some of this could be fixed by firmware. They're just getting a handle on it, and now they've got a few million beta testers out there. 
Microsoft is currently partnered with MyFitnessPal, RunKeeper, I imagine some other partnerships are on their way, and it is in a constant state of development. From what I understand right now, while it is limited to apps, either on Android, iPhone, or of course Windows Phone, which gives it more possibilities like voice integration, there still is no website. Now, I understand a website is supposed to be coming out soon, and more will be there, and probably more partnerships. Like I said earlier, this is an amazingly ambitious product from Microsoft. They have thrown so many things at it, and are relatively new to the market, so there's probably a lot more to come. At the price point, though, of $200, it's really amazing. It's amazing what they have put into the device. And if they can get all the firmwares upgraded, everything in line, this is definitely a product or a product family to watch out for. I'm Eric Hundley from HamptonRunner.com. You can also find me at on Twitter, at Hampton Runner, on Facebook, facebook.com slash Hampton Runner. And I want to thank Brandon of the Gears for this opportunity to discuss a product with you. Now our question for you today is what kind of fitness trackers do you have? Or have you not tried one yet and is it something you'd like to try out? Leave your comments in the comments section below. As always guys, thanks so much for watching and I want to say a big thanks to Eric for taking the time to review this product for us today. Please don't forget to like and favorite this video. You can do so wherever the like or favorite buttons are around here. As always, also please follow us on all our social networks which you can see right here including my personal Strava which is right up there at the top. Just click on whichever icon over there you're interested in, check it out. And don't forget that one right down there at the bottom, the YouTube icon, that will subscribe you to our channel so that you make sure you get all these updates as they come out. Also, don't forget to visit Gearist.com, our home site where all of our reviews live. And if you've got any comments or questions about those, please don't hesitate to contact us by emailing info at Gearist.com or leaving a comment on our website at Gearist or right down here below in the questions and comments section. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time.